There are two parts of your PC that tend to run hot, the GPU and CPU, or the central processing units. Reasons for an overheating CPU can vary. Problems can include your PC crashing, shutting down, or working slower than it should. Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier, and here we're gonna show you all the ways you can cool down your CPU. The CPU or processor is the brain of your computer, so it's vital that it runs nice and smoothly. Under duress, the CPU temperature can start getting hot, at which point your PC may start slowing down, crashing, and over the long term, the CPU may in fact die. So how hot is too hot for your CPU, and how hot should it get? Well, CPU operating temperature should ideally run between 30 degrees C and 40 degrees C, with some going as high as 70 and 80. Anything above that, especially in the 90 degrees zone, and you're asking for throttling and failure to occur. Okay, here you'll learn how to identify the causes and solutions for an overheating CPU. How to monitor your CPU temperature. Checking your CPU's temperature is very easy. If you're using Windows, Speccy is a great diagnostics tool that tells you everything about your PC, including the CPU temperature. MSI Afterburner is another great tool for monitoring your CPU and GPU temperatures. Mac users can grab Fanny, which doesn't go into as much detail as Speccy, but sits as a widget in your notification center for easy access to your CPU and fan stats. Linux fans can check out their CPU temperature by using the P-Sensor tool. Identify and bring down CPU usage. Once you've confirmed that you indeed have an overheating CPU, then it's time to try and identify what the cause could be. The possible problems may reside on the software or hardware side of your PC, so there's quite a bit to get through. It's easier to start with software solutions, so one of the first things you can do in Windows 10 is press Control, Shift and Escape to see if you have any abnormally high CPU usage. Weaker CPUs can often come under heavy strain from certain Windows processes and services, and we've jotted down a list of the common fixes for high CPU usage in Windows 10 in a link in the description. We also have a similar guide to how Linux users can bring down CPU usage, also link in the description. Too much dust. Cleaning your computer out can do wonders for the temperature gauges. If your fan speed sounds way too high, you may need to open up your PC and clean it out. Too much dust can clog fans and heat sink fins, but fortunately cleaning the inside of your computer is very easy. Ground yourself by touching metal to avoid electrical discharge to computer parts. Using compressed air from a 6 inch distance, blast away clumps of dust from fan blades power supply, motherboards and all other components. For hard to reach places use a Q-tip dipped in 90% isopropyl alcohol. Heat sink incorrectly seated. If you applied thermal paste and your CPU temperature isn't decreasing after a few days from the brief break-in period, your heat sink may actually be improperly seated. When this happens the heat sink is not making full contact with the processor which may cause it to overheat. To fix this, simply remove the heatsink and reapply it to the processor. Make sure it's aligned with the mounting points around the perimeter of the processor and lock it in place using a screwdriver or via tabs depending on your heatsink. Invest in a new heatsink or CPU cooler. A CPU cooler keeps your chip cool by pulling heat up from the CPU and towards the base plate or heat pipes. The heat transitions from gas to liquid via the condenser and cools down through the heatsink fans and fins. This cooled down liquid or coolant makes its way back through the evaporator so it can be used again. The entire process is essentially reusing the same heat that was originally generated by the CPU. So if your CPU cooler or heatsink is out of date, then the reuse of this heat won't be cooled down. If you want to look into this more, see our guide to how to choose the right CPU cooler for your PC. Link in the description. Reapply thermal paste. Thermal paste fills the gaps between a CPU processor and the heatsink and aids in efficient heat transfer. Running a CPU with no thermal paste is like driving a car without oil. And what happens when you ignore obvious warning signs like check engine light? Instant engine failure. The same applies. Here's a quick guide on how to apply thermal paste to a CPU. To check if your CPU needs new thermal paste, locate the heatsink and remove it from the processor. Wipe off any excess paste and squeeze a pea-sized amount of paste onto the processor. Place the heatsink back on the processor, which will evenly spread the paste outwards, and monitor the temperature over a few days using Speccy. 
Malware infection. A serious malware infection will cause your CPU to work harder and your computer to run at a snail's pace. Some common malware infections that cause a spike in CPU temperature include viruses, system infectors, file infectors and macro, trojans, backdoor, rootkit, exploit, among many others, worms, email, internet and network. Malware that uses a large number of resources tend to create high CPU temperature and noisy fans. Notable examples are the Bitcoin miner viruses, Autorun, Colab and BT Mine. We did an annual review of Windows Defender recently and found it to be just as effective as the best third-party antivirus software out there. But if you want a lightweight tool to add an extra layer of security on top of that, Malware Bytes is a favourite here at MTE. Stop overclocking. Overclocking is when you increase your CPU speed or clock rate through the BIOS setting, which increases the overall performance of your computer, but at a small cost. Overclocking equals more CPU heat generation and higher temperature. This isn't always the case though. If you invest in a good heat sink or CPU cooler setup, then your CPU should continuously stay cool. But if you excessively overclock with a subpar cooling system, the CPU will overheat, throttle and may cause a system failure. I mentioned MSI Afterburner before, which is also an overclocking software. We have an overclocking guide for the tool, which also shows how to stop overclocking. Link in the description. OK, hopefully your PC is in good shape now, but it can also be affected by dodgy Windows 10 updates. See our guide for the latest Windows 10 update problems and how to fix them. Another vital health check is your hard drive, and we have you covered for monitoring your SSD and HDD health too. Links for all that stuff in the description. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.